Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur neuesten Episode von The Walking Dead. In der letzten Folge haben wir einen alten Freund wieder getroffen und jetzt schauen wir mal, was man von uns will. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! This is probably not so erfreulich. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Let him go. Please. Why would I do that? I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. Yeah. What it really is. So haben wir unsere Meinung mitgeteilt. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is... Part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Mein Gott, ist ja vollkommen durchgeknallt. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there'd have the balls to say something like that? Oh, he did, but look where he landed. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Aha. All right, no. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Hey, da freue ich mich ja. Bin ja gespannt, was es da für ein Fraß gibt. Jedenfalls dieses Gespräch äh, durchzuführen hat wieder eine Errungenschaft gegeben. Äh, mal schauen, ob äh, wir in dieser Episode noch eine bekommen. Irgendwie. 
don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. Do they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but... It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. Mama you want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. Oh, nah. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. This is nuts. No, it's not. It's perfect. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? Hmm. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean, Ach, komm, los geht's. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We got to get that rope down. Mike, you want to boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Da. Jetzt muss ich wahrscheinlich wieder irgendwie dämliche Knopf-Action machen hier. Hmm. Da freue ich mich ja drauf. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. 
Äh, Something, nehmen wir das hier. So viel zum Thema die Herde kommt. Oh oh. Und der übliche Funkgerät, äh, Kollege, der. Wo war der denn jetzt? Hey, kann ich mich verstecken hier? Ja, was jetzt? A little bit clueless here. Dann schauen wir doch mal vom Gewächshaus, was da los ist. Okay, hat sich erledigt. Wir schauen nicht im Gewächshaus, was da los ist. Wir treten auch nicht vor die Dose. Nein. Wir können auch nicht mehr zurück. Okay. Dann schauen wir noch mal runter. Ah. Genau. Oh, da ist der Typ. Der dürfte eigentlich so gesehen, wenn wir hier hinten rumlaufen, keine Gefahr für uns sein. Aber was ist das Problem mit der Tür hier? Ja, also, ihr also hier finde ich zum zumindest nichts mehr, wo wir hin können. Vielleicht habt ihr da eine Idee. Das sind überall unsichtbare Wände. Hier liegt doch nicht irgendwas rum oder so. Hier ist aber noch ein Dachfenster. Dann schauen wir doch da einfach mal rein. Was da so passiert. Ah ja, da wären wir im Zweifel zwar richtig. Oh ne, die blöde Kuh wieder. Und die ganzen Funkgeräte. Crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. 
Never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Werden wir es schaffen, die Funkgeräte einzusammeln? Oder werden wir erwischt? Und was wird dann passieren? Wird die Herd uns überrennen? All das erfahrt ihr in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann. Tschüss.